Today we have an iPhone 14 Pro Max that is not charging. We removed the screen and used a multimeter at the battery connector to verify the issue, confirming that it was indeed a charging problem. There was no 4.2 volts present, which is required to charge the battery. Next, we inserted the dock tester into the lightning port and set the multimeter to diode mode. We recorded the readings and then compared them to those we had taken from a working iPhone 14 Pro Max. As you can see in the table above, the readings for pins 2, 3, 4, 6, and 7 did not match, indicating an issue related to the Lightning Controller IC, which is responsible for authenticating the charger. We then proceeded to remove the motherboard from the housing and used a preheater to separate its two layers. After that, we removed and replaced the Lightning Controller IC. We then placed the motherboard back into the housing, connected the charger, and checked the voltage at the battery connector. The voltage was still not present. What was going on? The dock tester never lies. Next, we removed the Yangtze Charger Controller IC, which is responsible for charging the battery. We went straight to the trace, responsible for providing five volts to the lightning controller. When we checked its value, it was showing OL, open line, instead of the 0.451 that the software indicated it should be. We then tested the only component separating the two ICs, which was a resistor. We checked the resistor on both sides. One side gave us a reading, and the other gave us OL, open line. Bingo! The resistor had lost its value. Want to learn how to perform this type of repair? Visit CellPhoneRepairAcademy.com for more information. We replaced the resistor, tested again, and all the readings were back in order. We then reinstalled the Yangtze charging IC, placed the motherboard back into the housing, and tested the battery connector. This time, we were getting the required 4.2 volts needed to charge the battery. Yes! We soldered the two boards together using the preheater, rebuilt the device, and as you can see, it is now charging properly. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.